Hello everybody and welcome back to the 35th and maybe last Sky Battle commentary video. Uh oh. So if you've played Minecraft for pretty much any amount of time, you'll know that the enchantment system is not the best. And at this point, it's kind of boring. You know, what do you do? You make an enchantment table, and then you roll for something. You get Bane of Arthropods, and then you re-roll. Just to repeat it all over again two seconds later. And it's unavoidable. If you want to prosper long in this game, you need enchantments. But it doesn't really even feel like you've accomplished too much if all you did was just click a little bit, you know? And, you know, there's not much, like, unique strategy to it. Because, like, currently, you know, you, you get the best stuff for your boots. You get depth strider, feather falling, and breaking, mending, and protection. And boom. Unless I've missed something, you've gotten maxed out boots. You never have to worry about it ever again. And that's just like the dead set. That's the limit. That's that's just what you gotta do to get boots in Minecraft, basically. It's just another step. But don't you think it'd be so much more cool if it felt like its own type of system? And not just, this is what I have to do, and I do this thing every single time and it never changes. Wouldn't that be cool if there was, there was a difference? It would be, but Mojang's probably never gonna do that. So today, I'm going to do the game design that they don't want to. Or maybe maybe, maybe they already have, and that's 1.22. It's just like the enchantment overhaul. That'd be cool. So first off, when you actually like use an enchantment table, the GUI is completely different. The whole system of choosing enchantments from a table kind of gets recycled later on, but we'll get to that. So, you know, you open up the enchantment table. What does it look like? Um, well, it, it, it's kind of only explainable um, using an analogy that does not make sense at all once you actually know it, how it works. So, think of that like Tetris, kind of a board, kind of like that, probably not as big. I might put a picture up, who knows, who knows? It's just the pieces that look similar, I guess, and you have to just place them in a little board. Uh, I'm gonna kill everyone in here. So you've got Tetris looking pieces, and each of them is assigned a different enchantment, or I guess an enchantment is assigned um, a certain Tetris-like piece. Now the whole Tetris analogy kind of goes out of the way the second um, like more complicated enchantments get involved, because like the more complicated the enchantment, the more difficult, the more complex the shape is going to be. Because the way you apply enchantments to items is by um, placing them on that board and anything that can fit gets applied. So stuff like protection and fire protection, all those types of protections won't be technically mutually exclusive anymore. Uh, they'll still technically be able to be applicable to each other, but it's going to be really difficult to get armor pieces that um, they actually fit together because the protection ones will probably be pretty complex. Because, you know, limiting the enchantments you can put on the items doesn't seem, doesn't seem as cool as the shapes are just too, like, complex to put to each other together, you know? But, like, something like mending, though it's, like, rare and special, uh, it might have a huge variance in, uh, like, what shape it can be. It can be either, re it could either be really simple or it could be really complicated. But how do you put these pieces on items? Will they just, like, come on default? And the answer to that is no, they won't. How are you supposed to get... How are you supposed to get these pieces on items, hmm? Well, this is where the borrowed system from the old enchantment system comes back into play. Instead of giving you direct enchantments, that part of the enchantment system just gives you pieces of those enchantments. And maybe this system obeys the laws of mutual exclusivity for enchantments, but but even if it does, you can still get um, currently mutually exclusive enchantments on items using books. Also, I think I should probably mention that the pieces that you get on a item are completely dependent on how much lapis you put into the enchantment table. There'd probably be some sort of, like, dev-assigned, like, spectrum of how good certain enchantments are, you know. Mending being at the very top and having a super low probability of showing up, and you'd have to, like, pour in a whole thing of lapis, you know. 
I should also probably bring up that this system is super lapis dependent. Like, if you don't have so many stacks of lapis, you're going to need it. So when you put the pieces on the items, uh, you have to activate them, of course, by putting them in the grid, which is also probably going to cost a decent amount of lapis. But yeah, you're not even guaranteed good um, pieces, you know? Like, you can get Bane of Arthropods 3, you know? But the question is, how do you get better pieces on your items? Well, it's kind of the same way you do it nowadays. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. Well, it's kind of the same way you do nowadays. You know, you go over to an anvil, except it's not an anvil, it's still on the enchantment um, table. Because it's an enchanting system, not a, not a blacksmithery uh, system. So you go over there, spend a bunch of lapis, and you can combine different types of um, items. And I should probably also mention, everything that can be enchanted uses this new system, including books. And the application cost for combining stuff also scales with the complexity of the pieces. Not necessarily what the pieces are, but just the sheer complexity. Maybe, maybe that's calculated by, like, calculating the perimeter of, like, um, the, the, the object. I don't know how that would actually be done, but that's just what I think. And yeah, once you apply, uh, the things, the pieces transfer, and, you know, like, you, you'd be able to put, like, um, a book on, what, let, like, let's say a chess plate. The book would vanish, obviously, same if you did a, um, same if you'd like combine two pickaxes, you know, one of the pickaxes would just disappear. That That's just how combining works nowadays, so it's not even anything different. But the difference is that all the pieces from the applied item uh, aren't active when you first like put it on the item. But I feel like not only would this like be a really cool thing just just to get right out of you know a really boring menu and into an even cooler menu, um, but I think it would also allow for a lot more variance and stuff because you probably wouldn't be able to make maxed out netherite boots. Also, before I forget to mention this, you know the like enchantability mechanic of like I think. I think gold tools might be the most enchantable. Um, like, you're more likely to get better enchantments on it. Like, you're more likely to get better enchantments on netherite than diamond. Mostly because it's a higher tier. And that system would also carry over. You'd be able to get much more better things, or like have a default magic multiplier applied to your lapis when you first um, put pieces on your items. Or, like, maybe it'd be the same enchantments, but they'd have a better chance of being a lot less complex and take up less space. Again, this is all very bare bones, and I probably forgot a lot of details. So if there's anything that you feel like I didn't touch on much, uh, let me know, and I will try to explain it to the best of my ability, because I've thought a lot about this. Because I don't like enchanting in Minecraft. Making OP stuff is so easy, but so boring. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed listening to my ideas. I hope it wasn't too boring, and I hope it wasn't too confusing. Again, if you want me to elaborate on anything, or I didn't make anything super clear, let me know. I will explain. Also, for any Mojang devs who are probably not watching, but, you know, might be, um, use this system. Like, please. And to all of you watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, bye bye